Welcome back to Tetracan Super Monoblock, the channel about repairing and using multi-tracked cassette recorders. Continuing our series in Task M464, and we've got a partly broken cassette door here. Um, I'm missing the bit of plastic there that would allow me to repair it. But I remembered I had another broken one. So I've super glued then spin welded the broken leg. Um, I've got a bunch of videos about spin welding. I'll probably add a category to the channel called uh, Mending Plastic or something like that. So check those out if you don't know how I did that. Okay, let's remove this broken door. And so you can see it's the same sort of wide ferrule um, wood oblique plastic screws that we've been seeing in a lot of these Porter Studios. And that's held in place with two, what would we call those, clips, hinges, like that. And then just, this just slides out the front. Um, I'll keep hold of that in case I can find some sort of compatible piece of plastic from a broken door from a, another unit. Maybe I can find a home for this at some point. So here's the parts that came from another unit, same unit where I got this spare door from. Then we have the hinges clips, just the two screws in there, but also, and this is what was missing from this unit, uh, the spring. So hopefully this bit of plastic where I've repaired it won't get in the way. If it does, I'll need to file it down. Slide this in from the front. Okay, it's a bit too wide. Um, I'll pause this and just file that down a bit. Okay, um, I actually removed the white plastic over the top altogether, um, but I've, the melting process of the spin welding has penetrated down into the surface of that cassette door arm, so it's it's strong. Our screw is going to be going on this side, so we'll put this hinge in there first. Let's get fit between these two plastic pins here and uh, this guide post is going to go into the right hand side of this guide slot so that allows me to then slide that along until the thinner of those two parts of that pin is in the hole in the arm of the cassette door and then this metal hole lines up with this plastic mounting post underneath. So I then screw that back in now on this side we want to put the spring over the clip like that. Slide that into place in the same way. And screw it in in the same way. But then Wind. We wind the screw around the arm of the cassette door like that, and that creates this open and shut mechanism. So that's working fine now. <laughs> 